We're at the Barcelona airport. Barcelona heading to Ibiza. On this trip, we're heading to Ibiza, one of the most beautiful islands in the Mediterranean. Ibiza is the third largest of Spain's Balearic Islands and has roughly 130,000 people. It's known for its beauty and impressive beaches, which you can see from the air on a flight from Barcelona. We are in Ibiza and we just rented this Fiat. So we accidentally got a manual car and we need to switch to automatic. So while we're waiting for our automatic car, here's where we're going. Necesitamos un auto automático porque no podemos conducir en manual. No queremos colapsar. And we got a smart car instead, and it's automatic. Yeah, we are going to Ibiza City, the old town, and we are driving down the highway. We drive on the right side here, so it's nice. From the airport, the main town of Avisa is only six kilometers away. Oh, this is kind of cool. Ibiza is nicknamed the White Isle for its beautiful whitewashed buildings. We have made it to Ibiza. This is the old town. Look at all these beautiful shops behind me. We walk through the cobblestone streets, through the gates, to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Dalt Vila. The streets in the Ibiza Old Town are narrow, winding, and picturesque. We climb through the cobblestone streets to the Dalt Vila, which is a fortified hilltop first settled by the Phoenicians. Dalt Vila, Ibiza. Ibiza. We just climbed up all these steps and then look at this, the harbor is right here. Fortress behind me, so beautiful. This is the map of the old town, that's where we are. Look, here's the fort. In addition to the castle and its walls, this area has stunning 360 degree views, a cathedral, a monastery, and several museums. Welcome to Ibiza. This is the Ibiza Cathedral. This is cool, it explains the history in different languages. 
This was built on top of medieval walls. Ibiza Old Town is like being in a labyrinth filled with years of history from the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Romans, Muslims to Christians. This talks about the Jews of Ibiza and how they were pressured to convert to Christianity. And look at this down here. Everything in this town is whitewashed. So I'm walking through Ibiza. This is the old town. All of the buildings are whitewashed, cobblestone streets, and just like pops of color everywhere. Everywhere you go, just windy little roads. Which way to choose? They both look cool. It says here that the medieval walls were originally Islamic walls. Chilling out. Enjoying life. And they have all of the different billboards for all the different clubs. Here's our new car, smart car. <laughs> From the old town, we travel about 15 kilometers to Santa Alaria de Ru, which is Ibiza's third largest resort town. Santa Alaria is situated along the only river in Ibiza. This beautiful whitewashed building is Casa Can Planetas. It's an interpretive center where visitors can view a traditional Ibizan household where they stored milled flour. Sixty gets you three bedrooms, two baths, or you could pay 1.4 euros and get four bedrooms, three baths. Like we are now visiting Puj de Misa. Overlooking the town of Santa Alaria is a fortified hilltop church called Puj de Misa. The site is not to be missed and offers 360 degree views of the city. Plaza de la Iglesia, it looks a lot like the mission churches in California. This is called Church of Santa Eularia, and it was built during the, the 15th century. The one we see now was built towards 1560, under the same time that the walls of Ibiza were under construction. right outside of our hotel. There's a nice little running slash walking path. We hope that you enjoyed this trip to Ibiza and Santa Alaria. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe because coming up next, the Ibiza Marathon and 12K.